Who is Sol Invictus? The god of the unconquered sun, Sol Invictus was the official sun god of the later Empire of Rome. The Emperor Aurelian reintroduced the sun god and cult in 274 AD. The Emperor Constantine, also known as Constantine the Great, made the practice of Christianity legal in Rome, but continued to have his coins inscribed with the words Sol Invicto Committi, which means committed to the invincible sun. The birthday of the unconquered sun was celebrated at the Roman festival of Dies Natalis Solus Invicti on December 25th, and it is often theorized that Constantine had a hand in selecting this day as a celebration date of the birth of Christ as well. What does Constantine the Great have to do with it? The struggle for deathlessness must be free, are the words of Emperor Constantine, who legalized Christianity in ancient Rome. As the story is told, he was preparing for a great battle with Maxitinius to gain control of the western portion of the empire, and considering what power to rely on for protection. He could look to the many deities or a single God Almighty, as presented by Christianity. As he decided to take a, the Christian route, he claimed to see a radiant cross above the sun that was scripted with the words in hoc signo vences, which means by this sign conquer. This was painted on the shields of his army prior to entering the battle. Constantine's forces prevailed. Maxitinius and the army retreated to the bridge across the Tiber River. Maxitinius drowned. Seemingly, Constantine associated his victory with the power of the sun and viewed Sol Invictus as very similar to the Christian God. His adoption of Christianity in the Roman Empire was more likely a matter of political strategy than religious conviction. What is the historical influence of Sol Invictus? There still remain questions concerning the choice of December 25th as the date of Christmas Day. Some people believe the date on which we celebrate the birth of Christ was chosen after the Sol Invictus pagan celebration, while others claim that December 25th was chosen as Christmas Day first. The Romans believe Sol Invictus died on December 21st, being reborn three days later on December 25th. December 21st and the three days that follow are the shortest and therefore the darkest days of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. There are also a number of popular theories that connect the Christian religion to the sun and astrology. One such theory points out that Jesus and the twelve disciples correspond neatly with the twelve zodiac constellations. In addition, some people have observed that in many paintings depicting Jesus Christ, his halo closely resembles the cross of the zodiac. What does Sol Invictus have to do with Satanism? Typically, Satanists celebrate Sol Invictus themselves at home. There really is not an official celebration for Sol Invictus. It is my opinion as a minister that we, as Satanists, must remember that even in the darkest days of winter, we will again be revitalized with the summer sun. The Sol Invictus holiday was such a threat to Christian religion that they sought to eliminate it through adopting it as Jesus' birthday, even though there is no mention of his birthday within the Bible. We know that this was done for other pagan celebrations as well, such as Lupercalia, Imbloch, and Osteria being replaced with the Easter holiday. We as Satanists need to remember that Christianity will do anything to destroy the past traditions and place themselves at the center of culture. We as Satanists celebrating this holiday take back the influence of the Christian religion as ruled over humankind. With that, I give my invocation for this holiday. I would like to thank Mythology.net for the information included in this benediction. Is there a ritual that I as a Satanist can perform at home? I feel that a simple and sufficient ritual for this is lighting a candle in the darkest and shortest night on December 21st. The burning flame reminds us that the light of the sun provides warmth, and also the flame of knowledge will never be extinguished again by an overbearing religion. We as Satanists should be ever mindful that theocracy has no place in our society. On this, the darkest day, soul, Helios, we stand together, frigid and in the darkness. The ground frozen, the winds blow cold. As we travel through winter, let us remember the warmth you gave, the crops you grew. Let us remain steadfast that you, Sol Invictus, are forever. Societies may crumble, civilizations may fall, but you, Sol Invictus, remain unconquered. We stand united, knowing our trusted companion will return. Your beautiful rays will once again adorn our faces, and we will glorify you and your greatness once more. From the Satanic Temple, Pittsburgh, we want to wish you and Yens a fabulous Sol Invictus and a Happy New Year. Hail, Hail Satan! Satan.